Good morning, and thank you for allowing me to speak today. I am Jared Martin, Superintendent of Schools for the Lafourche Parish School District. But many of you may not know that I'm also Lieutenant Colonel Jared Martin of the Army National Guard. In fact, I will soon be retiring from my role in the armed services after serving for nearly 27 years. In that time, I was given numerous opportunities to serve my country alongside the finest soldiers in the world. I served in Operation Iraqi Freedom as an infantry officer in 2004 and 2005, and Operation New Dawn in 2010, again as an infantry officer during the drawdown of American forces and the eventual transition of power to the Iraqi government. In January of 2005, I was re responsible for supervising a small force of soldiers that would be securing multiple polling sites in and around Baghdad. This mission was extraordinary and that it would be the first fair and free elections that Iraq had ever attempted in its history. The country was, however, still much divided and still very dangerous. Threats of violence to anyone participating in this democratic process were common. In spite of this, I was able to witness thousands of Iraqi people cast their vote for the first time in their lives. As the people left the polling sites, they would hold up their ink-stained fingers that were used to cast their ballots. The purple ink was visible on the index fingers of hundreds of Iraqi people as they held up this sign of hope for a new future, for a war-torn country. In the years that followed, violence continued to plague the nation and terror groups challenged the young nation repeatedly. Still today, the people of Iraq face many challenges. But my experiences there taught me more about this nation than it did about Iraq. It taught me that we as Americans have so much to be thankful for. We fail to recognize how precious the freedoms we enjoy and take for granted every day truly are. We forget that there are millions of people in this world that will never have the opportunities that we are afforded each and every day. That is why Veterans Day means a great deal to me. Veterans Day is an opportunity to thank the people that made these very freedoms possible. Without the sacrifices made by the first patriots of the Revolutionary War, or the sacrifices made by the men and women that still fight for freedom in all parts of the world today, we would not have the lifestyles that we now take for granted. Each and every Veterans Day, I think of men like my late grandfathers, who both fought in World War II, but I also think of the men and women that serve today, those that make something like voting in a free country for the first time possible. It's about celebrating the men and women that place the needs of a nation and the needs of others ahead of the needs of themselves. That is what celebrating Veterans Day means to me, so to all veterans, thank you for your service to this great nation. Thank you.